What's going on guys? It's Monday. It is vlog episode 23. Getting up there in the numbers. Really excited about that. Thank you guys for uh, paying attention, watching these um, videos. Today is Monday. That means it was car swap day. I've got to stop and do some Instagram photos for Texas Garage. So I'll definitely show you guys the vehicle that I'm driving today. But I got to get on the road and head home. So uh, I'll catch you guys back up as we stop to take pictures. All right, just getting some shots of the Santa Fe. This is the all new 2019 Hyundai Santa Fe. It's got some really cool design lines. Besides it being new, I really don't know anything about what they've updated, uh, what they've done with this thing, but it's pretty cool. I'm gonna take the week to uh, learn about it and figure it out and then obviously do my review for Texas Garage. I thought this would be a cool place to do a little, little bit of photos and uh, video because of these trees, but there's a guy mowing over here and a bunch of kids yelling and screaming over there. So let's get in the car and uh, wrap this thing up. Another thing about this is the interior is really nice. I really like this uh, headliner. Um, it's unique. It doesn't always have to be really premium materials, but just unique materials are really cool on vehicles. And this is definitely unique. So uh, looking forward to spending more time in this thing, but we've got more to talk about. So there's been a lot of news over the weekend and this morning about shootings around the world. And I would be a little bit remiss if I didn't say anything on them at all. Obviously, I think hate in pretty much every context is uncalled for and disgusting. Um, you should hate people. Uh, and even if you do, you, sh it should, you shouldn't let that hate drive you to something like this. As far as the political climate around these things go, it's really difficult these days because there is so much um, hatred built up and portrayed because that's just an easy uh, an easy way to get political clout uh, if you can make your base hate your opponent's base if you can make your people hate your opponent it just gives you an easier path to victory politically um, but that's a very toxic way to run a country and to live and it's uh and the whole world seems to be at a boiling point, which is pretty scary. Which brings me to my next point is, I don't know how I feel about um, concealing the identity and the footage and the manifestos of these shooters. Uh, I've always been a pretty big proponent of not giving the shooter um, any media attention. Um, because it does fuel other people to mimic and copycat what they've done. A lot of them are seeking attention and want their name out there. So all the media outlets that do it are just giving them what they want and media outlets that don't do it um, are trying to dampen that. At the same time, knowing these people and being able to analyze what they've done and why they did it is a very uh, valuable learning opportunity to learn about hatred in the world and to figure out things that we can do to potentially fix that or at least minimize it or be able to identify it earlier. Um, these things aren't going to be solved by politics and politicians. It's not going to be solved by a law um, being put into place. It is a very cultural thing. It's obviously the story of the human race is hating other people and trying to destroy other people. This guy seems like he was specifically a terrorist. For myself, I think that the hate towards the people was even less of a thing for him than actually terrorizing and affecting political change. But again, it's hard to determine based on things that you get in the media and things that you hear because everybody wants to push their own political uh, opinion on this, even though, you know, it just happened, but everybody's out there pushing their own political opinion. Um, so it's hard to weed it out. And if you're not showing um, actual footage or you're not showing 
image is and you're not putting out that manifesto you know social media accounts get deleted super quick so if we don't have this backstory of information we don't have all the information necessary then it's really hard to come to a conclusion on what this guy was trying to do and then it also fosters um, some conspiracy theories on the government's trying to cover stuff up which i don't think that's happening in this case but there are those conspiracy theories already boiling out there because a lot of this information just gets deleted off the internet so quickly so again i don't have the answer i don't know if it's necessarily correct i know that we still show images of 9 11. i know that we still talk about terrorist attacks and things like that um, that happen but these mass shootings, I know there's a stigma around them to not glorify the shooters, to not talk about their manifestos. And it's kind of a sticking point. I see both sides and I definitely am pulled towards both sides. Uh, so I don't know where that happy medium is of not glorifying the shooter and giving them media press so that other people copy, but still being able to figure out what, um, what was going on in their head and being able to recognize people like this sooner. All right, so that was a little bit of a downer at the end, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more. I'm going to get home to the family, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.